Christian nationalist Trump ally is uh, encouraging Trump to invoke the Insurrection Act on day one. Something Trump's already said he was going to do. It'll give him dictatorial powers. Uh, Russell Vaught, who uh, is probably going to be his chief of staff if he becomes reelected, he was the director of OMB uh, before, uh, is the head of a think tank. It's called the Center for Renewing America. And what they are promoting is something that they refer to as Christian nationalism. Uh, he said he wants to, quote, invoke the Insurrection Act on day one to put down protests and refuse to spend funds authorized by Congress on unwanted projects, you know, like aiding Ukraine. He says, renew, we need to renew a consensus of America as a nation under God where our rights and duties are understood to come from God. This, this is so ahistoric. I mean, right across the board, with the, with the singular exception of Patrick Henry, the founders were very, very wary of any kind of religion inserting itself into politics. They created a secular nation, not a religious nation. America wasn't created as a Christian nation. It was created as a, as a secular nation, as a government, not as a church, not as a religion. But, uh, you know, these people are convinced that they've got the only God that's the real God, and their God is going to be in charge through them. And that's always the key part, you know. Yes, I speak for God. Now listen to what I say. Meanwhile, multiple high-profile Republicans, Mike Gallagher from Wisconsin, Ken Buck from Colorado, Mark Green from Tennessee, there's about a dozen of them, uh, have just uh, Don Bacon from Nebraska. You know, they're, they're leaving. They're fleeing. A reporter for CNN said they can't be more excited to get out of town. And it says that, uh, you know, they're, he says, uh, is, uh, uh, this was uh, Jim McGovern, a Democrat from Massachusetts. He said, they know they're going to lose and they're sick of the BS, plain and simple. I think that's why you're seeing so many people leave. Some of these people are in key positions. Um, and he goes on about that. I mean, this is as uh, Carlos Jimenez of Florida who is leaving. He said, I thought some of our members would be start smarter. Uh, he said a lot of us are frustrated with what's going on, and that's just being flat out honest. It's foolish. So far, 23 Republican lawmakers have decided to not seek re-election or resigned early, including five committee chairs. Kathy McMorris Rogers of Washington, Mike Gallagher of Wisconsin, uh, I, it, Greg Pence of Indiana, that's Mike Pence's brother, Debbie Lesko of Arizona. They're just, they're just over it. Enough craziness.